Hi everyone, it's Julia Hyde again from Cannon Farm Horse Rescue. Today I wanted to talk about horse myths that drive me absolutely crazy. Um, there's so many of them that I couldn't, I mean I'd have to have a whole week of video I think to actually fit them all in, but I picked out five uh, today because they're the ones that actually annoy me more than anything else. So number one is the a white hoof on a horse is weaker than a black hoof. This is, there is absolutely no evidence at all to support this, yet people continue to, uh, to say that it's true. It isn't. They are just as hard. They do have, I, I, I mean, I think a farrier would perhaps tell you that they have a, they are slightly different in the, the way they feel, but they are not any different in terms of their their hardness or their um, or they're not going to impede the horse's ability to do anything because just because that hoof is white. Um, so that's number one. Um, number two is a horse is sick if it's lying down, and when I say lying down, I actually mean lying down with the head down. 99% of the time the horse is not sick. They are either resting or sleeping in REM sleep. And yes, horses do need to get REM sleep. Not quite like we do, but they do need it. Um, so when you see a horse lying down with its, you know, its head down and just totally relaxed, then that, that horse is likely to be in REM sleep and is not sick. Mine do it all the time. And Shiloh actually snores. Um, but I have had the neighbours come round before to uh, concerned about them because they have both been lying down, uh, and uh, which is sort of nice of the neighbours in a way. But you know, at the same time, it's like, oh no, 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 they're fine. Um, number three, the placement of the uh, you know the world thing or whatever. I don't know how it's pronounced to be honest, but um, that's you know you, you find here and what have you. Um, is thought to be thought to have something to do with the temperament or behavior of the horse once again i i mean i've been told this so many times and i actually don't believe it at all um i don't care what they have where what they have whether it's double whether it's high up whether it's low whether it's between the eyes the horse is the horse and that horse has its own personality regardless of whether it's got a little whirly thing on the its forehead or, or wherever so that's another one that drives me crazy number four and this one i this one actually somebody somebody actually said oh try this to me and i'm like what um spraying mouthwash on skin irritations in horses i i, I I, it's almost as bad as the, is it, as the one that um, where people put gasoline to get rid of th thrush. Um, sorry, my dog's there. Um, get rid of thrush. It's like, why on earth would you think that mouthwash is going to help your horse's itching or skin condition? I mean, it, it likely has alcohol in it, which I wouldn't even imagine would sting, but... But anti itch, yeah, no. I, you know, I'm not a veterinarian, but I, I would guarantee that a veterinarian would say, yeah, not a good idea. Um, number five, the gelding swoosh or whoosh or whatever you want to call it when they um, run around and um, they make little noises from their, you know, their little bits. Um, and, um, well, they penis actually, because it's the sheath, I think, but um, a lot of people will say, oh, yeah, the horse is doing that because it's nervous or it's scared or uh, all sorts of things. Reality is that that horse is just there, going in and out and in and out and in and out, and it makes a noise. It makes different noises with different horses, depending on, and probably the, the, the rate of speed they're going. But they are not scared and they are not nervous. Um, so I just wanted to dispel those five. Um, I want to talk about what I'm going to do next 
the next video because I'm going to be looking at the mass baling horse rescues in so much as the the rescues that take horses from auction or from a kill pen by a, a, a seller, sorry, a kill pen owner, um, and market them as saving them from slaughter. I want to sort of just debunk that whole thing if I can, because it's it drives me crazy as a small rescue. It drives us crazy because they take so much money in and uh, small rescues like us can no way compete with that. So, so please subscribe if you would like to listen to that. Um, I may have to do one or two parts, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, so, so that's it for today. As I said, please subscribe. Um, and that way it can make a little bit of money for the rescue. Um, and I sort of enjoy doing this anyway. Um, although I'm not really very good at it, but that's okay. So yeah, see you all soon. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye.